I want to get that stash. So can I open that door? No, it can't be opened from this side. That's what they said. Okay, did I not open something back here? I think so. Let me go check out the stash to begin with. A fuse. Oh, the fuse is inside the workshop? Oh, okay, I see. I want to go to the well. So there was a... There was a stash in the back here. Can I just open it with a screwdriver? Another cult stash? Oh, we can't! Surprisingly. Trailer park key. Trailer park key is why... It's why we came here. And then this, I don't think we can open. Can't be opened on this side. So where's another entrance then? From all the way around. Oh, we have to exit the park then and then go around like that. And then the actual lighthouse is over there as well. Or uh, the, the trailer, lighthouse trailer park. And then there's a lighthouse here. Okay, so we should march towards the exit then. See you latte. Uh, hopefully see you never, more like. So this side goes to the lighthouse. We might want to check on the bridge too. I'm guessing it's probably broken down and stuff. There might be a little bit more. Ooh. The only working toilet. We don't even know if it's working. What the heck? That, that doesn't look like grand opening day at all. The tree has literally grown over the porta potty. There's a lunchbox around here somewhere. Well, where's the somewhere? Here's the road. Let me check out the road. At least it's brighter now, yeah? Oh! Uh, the bridge is fixed. That's... Okay, and everyone's gone. What the hell? Any... There's people here. Hi? Hello? Have you seen Ilmo? And Yako? What the hell? Wait, so this is a different time then, right? Because the bridge is okay, completely. Hey! Hey, how's it going? Well, something's never changed though, because apparently this is still happening. Really? I don't want to disturb him. Oh, I don't think we... Yeah, we didn't go here before. Was it open before? I'm not sure. Okay, that's bizarre, but I guess it doesn't really change anything in the grand scheme of things. Maybe... Can I leave? Can I drive my car and leave? No, I, I can't. That's my car. I can't drive it. I can't go. Yeah. <laughs> Is something wrong? I can't even. The sauna... Ah, uh, seems like that guy's still standing there, but Ilmo and Yaku are gone. Them being gone isn't the biggest deal, though. The, the bridge is... Did they fix it in that short time that we were away? How long were we away for? I don't know. All right, well, that's not our main goal right now, so let's forget about it. If we had the bridge to begin with, all we would have to do is cross over here and go in. But no, we have to do the big long loop and get attacked and all that. There is a lighthouse here. There's a lunchbox around there somewhere too. I'll go back for it. Lighthouse means light. Yes. Oh, can we reach the lighthouse? Yes. It's daytime now, too. Or maybe it was always daytime. Who knows? Time is a little bit wonky around here. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. No pages. Hmm. Lighthouse. Don't. So they're they're masked in darkness right now. I wonder if I can still get a one-hit kill on them. I might not be able to. Oh. Was there someone else? A third person? Got hit there, unfortunately, but... Did okay with the cross- Whoa. People guarding the lighthouse. Running out of bolts quickly. How are we doing on the healing situation? Oh, we're doing good. We're fine. What was that? Thanks, I got two bolts back. Better than nothing. Here's a lighthouse. Here's a nursery rhyme. Were you guys guarding the nursery rhyme? Oh, another rhyme. What is that part in the amusement park? I'm not sure anymore, kind of forgot. An old watcher of the sea before his demise cursed the waters that ruined his eyes. So he played a trick on the ocean deep, the waves to fight and havoc to wreak. And in doing that wrong, lost his soul song. Curse the waters that ruined his eyes, watcher of the sea. I don't really have a thing that could be a watcher of the sea. Hero? A watcher of the sea would either be the water, or the boat, or the eye, I guess, because watching eye. Uh. Can we have a look around inside first? Maybe there's a doll around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's so many. Mother doll. Wise elder. Trickster. Mm, no. Watcher of the sea. Old Watcher of the Sea. See? Wise Elder? Curse the waters that ruined his eyes. I think this is right because Saga said nothing, but we only have one Old Watcher. One Wise Elder. Curse the waters that ruined his eyes so he played a trick on the ocean deep. The waves to fight and havoc to wreak. And in doing that wrong, lost his soul's song. That's not right. Right. Saga will immediately tell me if it's right or wrong. So that's right. But do we have the correct thing? Mother? Trickster. Trickster. So he played a trick on the ocean deep. Ocean deep? The, the boat? No. Mm. Ugh. Let me pick this one back up again. The ocean trickster. Oh, Saga doesn't always say it. I see. Maybe the old guy here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. But we don't know what changes every time we do that. Something just does. Oh, all right. Fear was... Oh, I didn't get the headshot. She wasn't ready. 
<sighs> oh, you can still get the bolts back sometimes, even if it's not headshots. But if we miss, they just sort of go off into the void. Can still save some ammo that way though, so not a bad thing. Okay, but you need to give me the charm. You're gonna give me a charm, right? <laughs> Where would the charm be? I don't have a key here yet. I don't have the key. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's fine. Maybe we'll come back here later on too. It's the usual trying to explore everything and then accidentally going out of order because the story will naturally bring us here anyway. Pipeline. <laughs> okay. You want to give me... Is the charm somewhere obvious? What's this thingy? Stuff? Okay, that's the house. Can we open this with a screwdriver? We can. Good. Now we can open a whole bunch of stuff. Crossbow bolts. What the hell? Should we kill him? If we're not even gonna go there anyway. Oh, he looks so... He looks extra messed up. Did you have the charm, mister? Is that the charm? What? No, that's ammo. Thank you. This guy has a deer mask. He's a cultist then, right? Maybe? Not every single Taken that we've seen has that heart thingy. If we expose him with a the light, they give the... They show their heart and then you can shred them. Anyway, I'm not sure where the charm is for this one, even though we did the thing. Maybe we'll find it elsewhere down the line? Or maybe there just isn't one. That's fine, I get the feeling we'll come back here anyway. Well, we have to because we haven't opened the lighthouse yet. You don't have to give me that many crossbow bolts, okay? I don't love it that much. <laughs> People left me camp. That wraps up my list of favorite park benches in Bright Falls. And now, I just want to clear something up from our last broadcast. There was some talk, an off-color joke of sorts, about Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead, which of course is a bunch of hogwash. So I'm going to give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to these silly rumors. And, oh, it looks like we already have her on the phone line. <laughs> Wendy, hello. Hi there, Pat. Ah, that, that's, that's not Wendy. No. This is Jim Figamore. Remember? We were gonna do the announcement today. Oh, is that... Was that today? Listeners, we have Jim Figamore with us and the director of the Bright Falls Community Theater and... And I'm here to announce that the theater will be losing one of its most dignified thespians as I, Jim Figamore, will be running for mayor! Have we seen that? <laughs> Hold for applause. Well, that's, uh, quite a, an announcement, Jim. Just let me find my notes here. I have some questions written down for you. The real question is what happened to this town. Bright Falls used to draw in thousands of tourists with its vibrant art scene and impressive bird feeders. And what's our reputation now? Haunted Bright Falls. Spooky Bright Falls. Mm -hmm. The world is laughing at us. And now all this business with the FBI? We need a mayor who can turn this town's reputation around. And nobody knows more about the role of mayor than I do. I played one in the theatrical production of Fiorello. To glowing reviews by Coffee World magazine. Oh, God. Mayor Setter is a joke. And you know what? I hear he kills cats. What? There. I really? 
Now, Jim, this is a family show. Ah, I found my notes here. So, so why don't we pivot to some questions? First question, what exactly goes into that delicious beef jerky? Uh, right. <laughs> so it looks like these are my questions for Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky. <laughs> the only jerk I care about is Mayor Setter. Our future's at stake. Pets are being murdered. And it's time for a change. Jim Figamore for mayor. That concludes our program today. Oh, I, I actually had more. Jim to... Figamore and Pat Main signing off. I already don't like the guy, but if what he says is true and Mayor Setter is killing cats, then I can't fool for anybody else. Mmm, <laughs> well, again, Pat thinks... Wendy is alive, but everyone around him, including probably us because our investigation says so, our FBI note said so. So Pat is the crazy one here? Okay. Sure. Or maybe the rest of us are crazy, who knows. My first watery visit. I'm staying near the lighthouse trailer park at a nice spot just off the road. It's very quiet here during the day. At night, not so much. I've never been too nervous and can sleep through an earthquake, but here... I don't know. Something just feels off. The animals act weird. They're restless at night, making weird noises and running away. And I could swear I hear someone moving around, circling. I'm gonna give it one more night and then move on. Really pretty sketch, and then people are just leaving their whole sketchbooks here. Gotta agree with you on that account, though. It is creepy, isn't it? Where are we now? We're here. We can go to the trailer park, or we can go wrap back around to the lighthouse, or uh, the workshop first, because the fuse... Yeah, I think we can probably, like, they're not really gonna do the thing where, okay, you end up going to the main thing, and then you get locked out of the um, second thing. I don't think so, because we have to eventually get back to our car to drive away. So that's... we could just go directly here. Sure. Because at some point they're gonna make me go back to the lighthouse anyway. <laughs> It's right here. Feels like weather is getting worse already. Trailer parks, anybody here? Any friendly faces around? The page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. We already ran into one at the lighthouse, so here's the road. Here's the normal road. We can just chill for a second. Oh, lost cat! Did Mayor Setter kill that cat? According to Jim Figamore. <laughs> I don't know if that's reliable information. Mm hmm No page is nothing. The page said I'd realize something. Mayor Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. Setter for mayor. Carve it out. I have the key. Oh! It's in the rain. Must not drink the water. Or take a bath. Ever again. Moonshine. Only drink the moonshine, oh. brother! Ah! <laughs> Don't look like cultists. Torn Odin! Hey, I completely forgot, but Torn Odin's last names were Anderson? That's not helping! Mm -hmm. I don't feel like myself. Don't know how to fight it! Uh, we're oh. too old now. Excuse uh, me. 
I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. Do they recognize me? Uh, sweetie pie, right on time. Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. Start the hell of it! <laughs> Vaguely sounds like they know what's going on. These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We're related. We are family. The Andersons. Yes, Saga Vikings. Anderson. Gods. It's so good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar. Tar. He is your grandfather, and what? I am the old <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Are you sure? Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime at our resting place, Valhalla Nursing Home. Resting place sounds like a deathbed. But yeah, we have this exact same last name. How did I just never notice it? Saga Anderson, Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Tor Anderson? Odin Anderson? The old gods of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Tor. Odin. Saga. All Norse-inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the mm. horror story change their names to match mine? We know that's not true because they were already Torn Odin before Saga came into the story. But what if it was changed before that? I guess that's possible? I still lean more towards you forgetting stuff, but who knows. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips. Just a taste. The famous Anderson moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. <laughs> I'm on the job. Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see <laughs> all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Them being drunk doesn't help. So do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. Yeah, we're here to find the clicker. Investigate my trailer. The fuse. Yeah, we gotta go to the workshop sometime oh, as well. Oh, fucking hell. What time is it? Gotta head back to the bus soon, brother. <laughs> the Rusky. 
is itching to leave us behind every chance he gets. That's the guy we saw by the the bus. Plum wants to stay on our good side. They're not, they don't live here because they live at the nursing home now because they're too old to take care of themselves and all that. Oh my gosh, why are we just going into random people's homes? That okay? That trailer, apparently it's that one. That's the one we want. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Yako. Oh. Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deer Fist is almost here, which means we're <laughs> topping the prices on all of our custom designed Deer Fist parade floats. Floats created by the award winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club, winners of the last year's trophy for best Deer Fist float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And you're gonna get a kick out of our latest float designs. We've done it all. Deer Fest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. <laughs> our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just Deer Fest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, or mitzvahs, or your gonna circuncenaria. Our folks <laughs> will punch up any special occasion. But why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. Tapio. I was at Deer Fest last year. Folks were pretty good. One of them was a swan. And that was the people liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning boats now at reduced prices that will... <laughs> Are yours today. We'll build anything. Floats is... That's kind of a hard sell for just random impulse buys. You are a handsome deer. Float is pretty big to begin with, so it's not like we can store it just in our backyard or something. Or maybe the backyard would fit, but you'd have to live in a big house and not at a trailer park. <laughs> what was that? Was that a crossbow bolt? I think, think so. We missed Artie's show. Who cares? Artie's show? Tango shit is bad for your head, bro. <laughs> Too much truth in it. Rise me down. Hero's tango is uplifting. Music for the soul. No. Did you hear that? Too much truth in it. Ati's tango. That looks a lot like the one in our field office. Whose house is this? Whose house am I invading right now? Wait, February? You see this? Someone hasn't lived here since February? I might be inclined to think this is a random asset, but... As you've seen already, a lot of the assets in Alan Wake and Control, they are very, very detailed. So a February calendar tells me that someone hasn't lived here for a while. Huh. Got a good few rooms. Kind of narrow, though. Okay, well, they're not here. Same, same thing. Of course, we're gonna look at all the trailers. Oh my god, half of them are flooded! This okay? They're just flooded? Can't open this with my bare hands. Bolt cutters? Doesn't even say. Guess we gotta wait for the water to recede. Okay, maybe that explains why people aren't living here then. <laughs> whole place is freaking flooded. Thank you, thank you. Wish we could have a few more bolts around. But I guess that's that. Before we have to reload, I mean. I think that's an upgrade. Speaking of upgrades, can I do any upgrades? No, not yet. How are we doing here? Fact versus fiction. 
Odin says he's my grand-uncle and that Thor is my grandfather. Yeah, sure. My life in watery? No? Connection to Thor and Odin? Am I crazy? We don't know yet. So the story's giving me wacky relatives now? Still, there's something off about these guys. Mom never really talked about her family. <sighs> right, so th potentially this could be true. Anytime I ask mom about her home or family, she shut down. I have no idea who my grandparents are. Hmm. Story? No, this is for later. Stashes. Nothing. Rhymes. Watery lighthouse. Sure. Didn't get the prize though. A rhyme about an old man who became a monster. Dolls. So many of them. Mother. Things that apply to our story too. Hero. Mother. Trickster. Hmm. Alright, that's that for now. Oh, there's some profiling for the Coskellos. I need to open the safe. Oh, we already opened What's it. The combination? <laughs> People hate the puzzle, Zuma. They do. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. <laughs> Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. Well, yes. <laughs> we figured that out a while ago. Alright, we're... We're good, we're good. This is my trailer. Reeks of booze. Criminal justice. Critical look at a broken system. R. Moreau. Sounds like a book read by somebody who's in the FBI. Murder at the Manor House, an architectural mystery by Margaret Formo. Hey, there's some written text on it. Because I know you love a good pun, Elmo. A pun book from Elmo. Oh, that's the book on top. Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. The plot thickens. Oh, the plot chickens. <laughs> Excellent puns for the comedy hen in your life. The murder is a different book. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Agent Anderson, our deepest condolences for your loss. The Bureau knows it's an incredibly hard time for you. I personally can assure you we are committed to your well-being and will allow the time needed for your recovery from this tragedy. The FBI is here for you. We'll be ready to welcome you back to work as soon as you're ready. We could really use that insightful mind of yours, so we hope to see you back in our ranks soon. Warm regards, Stacy Marrow, Supervisory Special Agent. Presumably, they're talking about my daughter drowning. Ah, uh, it's the same picture. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't look lived in. It's just stacks of boxes and stuff. Let's say this is fake. Okay, this is fake. And. Well, I can't reconcile this in my head. It's just. We're pretending we're looking at stuff from another person who happens to have the same name as me. That's a lot of booze. Damn. Addressed to me. From years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality. Not just people's memories. You would think they would change the memories of the person in question first. But nope. This card has mom's handwriting. A little bird told me that it's your birthday, so be sure to give yourself some special tweetment. Love you, Logan. Grandma F. F. Is that gonna be relevant? My mom's name. Something F something. Washington Power. Saga Anderson. Yes, my address here. Was someone who works for the FBI living in a trailer? I assume the FBI pays more than that. Washington Power. Haven't been paying my power bills in 2018. Oh, that that's disgusting. Anderson Moonshine. Look at that. Ooh, it's like molding pizza. 
Lots of... Booze. Is the dad even in the picture in this version of reality then? No. What's his name, David? Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Too personal. Scary. She drew... She drew Odin and Thor. Because they were her great-grandfather and great-granduncle. Mom and Logan playing video games. Dad is not here. And then Deerfest. Coffee World. A ride in the amusement park. To Logan, keep on shining, little rock star. Your proud great-granddad and great-granduncle. There were three of them. Old gods of Asgard. Night Springs, new season coming soon. What was this? Hey, I'm, I'm kind of more interested in this one here. What's this? FBI. FBI car? Two people waiting. Oh, maybe mom works for the FBI and then... Is that dad? But dad's not here anymore. I don't see traces of dad. My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyval and Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Coskella brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. Good thing we didn't go there first, huh? Hmm. No. Nine years old. Drowned at nine years old. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... Which cop is that? Mulligan? What the fuck? Hey! Stay where you are! The cult of the tree. Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? I'm sorry, I wasn't actually done looking around here yet. Hmm, the story changing Mulligan? But it's so hard to wrap my head around because, like, is it making a new mulligan or is it changing the pre-existing mulligan? Why have I not changed yet? The Nordic Tales book Mom gave to Logan when she was little. Connie Chu, The Wildlife of the Pacific Northwest. Sanna Nordland, Nordic Tales and Folklore. The Kind Stranger, A Very Old House, Ribbon-Hearted Girl. Bon. <sighs> Logan used to love her music. Junior Federal Agent, Logan Anderson. Logan's Junior Agent Certificate. So cute. <laughs> the tone isn't quite right for the music. Congratulations to the Bureau's newest recruit, Logan Anderson. You completed Junior Agent Training, 2018. Even if Logan is alive, like we're at the point where we're scared, the story will make her having drowned come true. That's not good. Uh, that's not good. Tor? Odin? My trailer. I'm just gonna have a quick look around this side first. Mulligan.
Thornton too? God damn it. And now they're all taken? Should we hit him or should we follow? Assholes! Why would you? Damn you! Rude! That was rude, okay? This is a safe house. You know what that first word means? It means no jump scares in here allowed. Curse you! Remedy Games. I will never forget this transgression against me. You're on my shit list. <laughs> oh. Should have expected it though. We're in the middle of a thing and then they give you a safe house. There he is. You wanna bring me? I'm not even gonna bother wasting my bullets. The Kalevala Knights are here to help with your. Lo oh! Okay, alright, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Jesus, the I'm going. That Logan wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cult has the clicker. Get it? Oh, Fix this. Maybe we should just kill him before he gets there. Sandwich. I'm guessing we're getting more jump scares the longer we wait. It's not open this with my bare hands. It's not by location. They don't want me to look around, but I will open this. Thank you. Okay, no more jump scares. I, I need I need it out. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it. They're gone. I don't want to look around until we make sure they're gone. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it is broke, fix the one who broke it. Clicker is so small, it could be anywhere. Mm. You want me to look at a computer during all this? <laughs> Can we look at this later? I'll, I'll look. I'll, okay. No more. No more jump scares, though. Okay. Uh, let's read in chronological order. Stash the stashes. Ilmo to Kalavala. Hello. I've seen some of you place our stashes in the open. Please don't do that, you rascals. Stop it! From Yako to Kalevala. This is your final warning to stop taking the OOP out of the assembly hall. You want to get drunk in the workshop? Fine. But the OOP is for ritual use only. You idiots are worse than my kids. OOP? Ritual? This is recent. September... Is that September or July? It's September. Paycheck. Charlie to Elmo. Hi, Uncle Ilmo. Hope you're well. Charlene and I still haven't received our paychecks from last month's Coffee World promo work. Are you sure you sent them? Could you double check? Maybe they slipped through the cracks. Also, Charlene wanted me to tell you that her suit still smells weird. Charlie. Uncle Ilmo? Like a nephew and a niece? Float work from Ilmo to Kalavala. The Deerfest floats are eating up our space. Try to keep things neat and tidy around the workshop, okay? I can't find my tools. Can't even find my left hand though it's attached to me. But I will find my boot up someone's ass if you all keep making a mess, Ilmo. Sauna night. Ilmo to Kalevala. Hello, fellas. I suggest we start a regular sauna right now that the old place is working again. What's the best time for it? How about a classic Saturday night session? I'll bring the sausage and mustard, but bring your own beer, Ilmo. This isn't actually chronological order. Sometimes it jumps around a bit. This is August. Reply sauna night. Fred to Kalevala. Not everyone enjoys frying themselves to death, Elmo. And who would want to pick mustard over ketchup? Yeah, I would have to agree. Fred? Marvin to Kalevala? Elmo, ignore Fred. He doesn't have what it takes. And he's wrong about ketchup, too. It's obviously chili mayo or nothing. Marv. Lock combination from Yako to Elmo. September 2nd. 11 p.m. Hey, Elmo. Can't find the new door lock combination. Look inside the smiley coffee cup doesn't help me. 
Yako, look inside the smiley coffee cup. He doesn't reply. Oh, because it's, uh, this is the latest one. Thanks everyone for your valuable input, says Elmo. I'm assuming that means Saturday sauna night is on. Sauna is good for the body and good for the soul. You may not like it, but it likes you. And all condiments are welcome, of course. Door lock. Look inside the smiley cup. Look inside the smiley cup. Locked. Oh, they must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. Those are not numbers. It's the cult symbol. When in doubt, throttle it out. I mean, if they're inside, why do we want to chase them down? God, that deer is everywhere. Oh. What hides behind that smile? Don't randomly turn on, I swear. Such a shame. Get a randomly pet deer heads while we're chasing down Taken. Oh, I- sorry, apologies. <laughs> mm. How are we doing on- Okay, I'm not gonna use a trauma pad yet, because it's gonna give us a full heal. Of course. So disappointing. Every time we see that. Smiley cup. Hey, but at least it's not freaking out on me anymore. Where is the fuse, by the way? The fuse. <sighs> Saga's so strong that just walking across stuff knocks it over. That's a crossbow bolt? No, that's a flare, right? I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> Just me walking next to it is enough to trip it over. Oh, that's a real dirty page. But no scratches. Deputies make a grave mistake. Hey, stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker! Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe, opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. The last line of defense. Yippee ki -yay, motherfucker! Bright Falls fucking finest! They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. That sounds like they were still regular... police here. They were fighting the cultists. All right. But that's one symbol. Okay, hourglass. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, elevator button, diagonal, hourglass. Hold up. Elevator... button? No, it's the other diagonal. This one. And then hourglass. This is the cult's hideout. It's bright in here. 
Their headquarters, even? Oh. My goodness. There's a basement. That makes me feel like I should maybe look around a little bit more carefully first. Oh, come on. Cult stuff. Can we find any documents? That light switch you found washed up at the lake is not junk. It's fucking important. Trust me on this. From now on, whenever we catch a target, we're gonna cut out its heart, stick this thing inside and flick it. I know it sounds weird, but just trust me. It'll be like a ritual. This is gonna work. Oh? The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Everyone please read. I'm not trying to play the blame game, but we cannot let random tourists walk right into one of our rituals. We were stopped before we got to use the clicker. Hell, the lights weren't even set up yet. It's unacceptable. So let's look at the learnings. We need to be faster with our setups. We need to be 100% positive if someone is on lookout duty. Communication, communication, communication. Slip-ups like this are why we have FBI agents snooping around, which is not great. I'm only being harsh about this because I know we can do better. Surprisingly, a very encouraging note. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. That's the stashes, right? Not the lunch boxes. I've marked the map like you asked. That's all the stashes, by our count. Locked and loaded and ready to go. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. <laughs> That's what happens to group projects. Read. To whoever has been sabotaging lake house equipment, stop it. If you're looking for ways to help out the cult, this is not it. Unless bringing the feds down on us is what you consider helpful, in which case you can fuck right off. Stay away from the FBC, and if you see them poking around again, report it to the Grandmaster. Oh, they're more worried about the FBC than the FBI. This will be handy. What is it? It's marking something. I'm not sure what it marks. There's three maps here marking different stuff. That's it. Different collectibles? This is the cult's process. Their ritual. The ritual for Taken. Surround the target, subdue them, use hammer or other blunt object. Restrain them. Carve out their heart, recite the words. Put the clicker into their chest. Flick the switch twice to make sure it works. Remember floodlights on tripods. We need to see what we're doing. Always work in pairs. Why are they doing this though? Hum. Nightingale's ritual was cut short. They didn't manage to do the clicking part, which is why he became a monster. So they don't want monster things to happen then. They don't want that. They actually want the light stuff, just like we do. Ooh, FBC stuff? This is one weird cult. We are the cult of the tree. We watch in the night. I see it now. This is our mission. Make the woods scary again. It's a tree, a spruce tree. Keep them out. Keep them safe. Together we are a forest. Cult of the tree. Oh, could it be like local people who don't like new people coming? So they make this place all scary so that non-locals would be deterred from coming here? Pretty extreme though. They're killing people and carving out their hearts. Where do they even learn the ritual? Because Alan wrote it in. Scratch wrote it in. Rose. She's that waitress from the diner. Rose Marigold Observations, March 21st, 2014. They've been doing this for a while. Yeah, since 2010. 6.35 a.m. Leaves home in car. 6.46 a.m. Arrives at Oh Dear Diner. 7 a.m. Opens restaurant. 9.44 a.m. Spills a cup of coffee. Stares at coffee puddle and seems suddenly delighted. Begins talking animatedly to the puddle. Observer not in diner did not hear her. Puddle? Like Alan's puddle? 11.30 a.m. goes on break. 12.04 p.m. back from break. Ate a sandwich and wrote in a notebook. Couldn't see text. 1.21 p.m. Stares at ceiling fan for approximately 50 seconds. Stop smiling. Uh, okay. 3.05 p.m. Leaves Oh Dear Diner on foot. 3.08 p.m. Stops at pier and writes a notebook. Stares at clouds and becomes upset. Shaking her head and speaking up at the sky. Not close enough to hear. 4.23 p.m. Leaves pier. 4.25 p.m. Arrives at car. Enters. 10 minutes later, arrives home. 10 minutes later, watches TV. 5.45 p.m. Cooks dinner, macaroni and cheese. Watches TV while eating. 9 p.m. Goes to bed, reads The Sudden Stop. Yes, Rose is a Alan Wake fan. 10 p.m. Turns off light. While they were watching her very closely, very creepily. 
Who's they, though? Because... They is the Federal Bureau of Control, it's not the cult. Yeah, this is hand... This is, uh, from a computer. Typewritten. They were watching her. Observation report. Subject, the Cult of the Tree. Summary. Intermittent surveillance of the paracriminal group known as the Cult of the Tree shows that their operation is limited to a small area of Washington State. The group is reported to be made up of dedicated individuals equipped with only common tools. Overall level of organization is low. Overall comprehension of redacted is low. Our assessment yielded a category orange risk status. The redactions, it's FBC, all right. Further inquiry should be made to us the exact details and sources of their knowledge regarding paranatural elements. Investigation unit recommends the cult of the tree be kept under permanent surveillance, with preparations made for the group's arrest and seizure of assets. See other file for full report and recommended action. Summary and report to be forwarded to Dr. Marmond and Dr. Marmond at the Cauldron Lake Research Site, as both operate in a shared area. Addendum. Recommended action downgraded to continued intermittent surveillance, no arrest, due to prioritization of resources. The FBC knows that this group knows a little bit about para-natural stuff. But we don't know exactly what, as of the time when this report was written. You were right. These sneaky fuckers are watching us. And our level of organization is fine. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Look at these uneaten donuts just left out here. Very fine level of organization. So it was just in the workshop the whole time. Does that mean Ilmo knew about this? Yako knew about this? It's the people who work here, right? That's why it makes accessing this hideout so easy. Let's see. Trail of the cult. Took care of all this. Got the key. The Coffee World staff are all taken. What the fuck? Mulligan and Thornton have the clicker. It's in another overlap. Here in Watery. Clicker at the garage? Email saying OOP should stay in the assembly hall. What the hell is an OOP? Is it connected to the clicker? Is that terminology from control or something else? This is the same garage from the photo. <laughs> that means a clicker could be here. I need to be careful. Wait, where did this photo come from? Huh. Fact versus fiction. Oh, we got a whole bunch. Birthday card from mom to Logan. Logan's part in the story. I don't recognize the card, but that's definitely mom's handwriting. That's crazy. How far does the reaches of this, this fact-changing power go? Because they're not even in the same state. Logan's elsewhere. Or at least not in the same city. I forgot what state they're in. Drowning of Logan Anderson, age 9. <clears throat> no, that is not going on the board. No, this is just a story trying to hurt me. It's not real. She won't even write it down. I, I'm scared of the truth. Utility bill addressed to me? Nope. Well, this isn't related to Logan, right? Did you want to put it down here? It's not. My life in watery. Book about pun jokes from Ilmo. Poster in Logan's room for the musician Bon. I... Uh, Logan loves Bon. I took her to a concert in DC for her 12th birthday. This isn't fake. Hmm. Drowning at age 9. You know, the first time we saw Ilmo at the FBC station, he didn't know us. Yeah, I, I forgot about it for a little bit, but that, that's the first time we saw him. He didn't know us. And then when we saw him again in Watery, he acted like he knew me. So, I guess that was supposed to be the effects of the powers taking place slowly. Children's book. Mom gave this to Logan when she was a baby. The stories are a bit scary, but she loved the pictures. This is real. Letter from Agent Marrow asking me to come back to work. Is Agent Marrow real? In the story, I took a leave of absence from the Bureau. Which Bureau? <laughs> FBI or C? Junior FBI agent. 
I remember this. It was take your daughter to work day. Logan was maybe eight? This happened. Oh? Maybe there was another thing there. I don't know. The story. Logan's fictional room contains her actual mementos. How does the story change reality? Maybe Wake can't invent wholly new ideas, has to use what already exists? Well, it's someone dying. I hope that didn't already exist. Oh my goodness. Report on Rose Marigold found in the HQ? Cult... Goal. Who's involved? Rose Marigold, somehow. Rose is that waitress from the diner. Is she involved with a cult? drug fueled scribbles on the origin of cult triangle symbol. Oh, you think it's drugs? <laughs> I just thought they were culty. <laughs> um, goal? Wait, wait, wait. Origin of the symbol. Symbols. Seriously? This would almost be funny if they weren't killing people. No detailing steps of the cult ritual. The steps of the ritual are listed here, consistent with what we found at Nightingale's murder site. Cultists note admonishing members sabotaging FBC equipment. <clears throat> Goal? Psychology? Seems our cultists aren't totally aligned here. Don't sound like the true believer types. Note about the ritual being interrupted. No. No? Note about the goal. No, okay, hold up. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. This was the cult of the tree. <sighs> Actually, I'm not sure about this one either. What kind of cult? No. Tor and Odin with cultists. Who's involved? Tor and Odin Anderson are clearly friendly with the cult of the tree. Not conclusively members. Well, the hideout is in the workshop, so it kind of doesn't look that good. Cultists know about ritual being interrupted. Interrupted. Oh, why did Nightingale become a victim? A monster. This confirms the ritual was interrupted. It says they didn't have time to use the clicker. This one... Hold on. <laughs> I'm not sure where this one would be. Cult <laughs> I'm just seeing what sticks now. Who's involved? Oh, pfft. Mulligan and Thornton. This page describes Mulligan and Thornton as members of the Cult of the Tree. Oh, does it? I thought they were fighting against them. According to what it said. Deputies make a grave mistake, right? Oh, oh, it's saying- I thought they were fighting against the cult. No, it's saying that they were part of the cult fighting the monster. Okay. The monster, which was Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Oh. Alright. I just want to take it away once in a while. Is it going to come back immediately? Does it come back immediately? No, not immediately, but at some point. Alright.